Okay, I want to share with you my psychic, really messed up initiation. Um, I want to share this with you because I think that it will support you because of what I've noticed and what I'm hearing is a lot of people are having psychic openings right now and you may be one of them. So I want you to hear this, okay? Um, briefly, my, my I started channeling, I read that book, Conversations with God, and it's all about like, um, he channels through his pen, like through the pen. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I could do that. Rah, rah, rah. And I, I did. I've always been a natural channel. I've always been very psychic, even when I was little, but I didn't know what I was doing. And so I did that and I was channeling all this intense kind of messed up stuff because it was or I'm not organized. I didn't know who I was talking to. And I opened up a portal that wasn't managed. But this led me to my shamanic teacher who taught me how to be an organized psychic and organized intuitive and know how to um, safely connect with the spirit world. Now, I went through this place of like, I had a huge, huge opening to the point where like I was constantly seeing uh spirits all the time I still see spirits but it's on my terms I'm like okay there you are hey what's up but I was, <laughs> I was seeing like spirits all the time and the veil is very thin for me now I manage it and like I said it's on my terms but when I was opening all this stuff up and I was learning I'd be like oh god and I would be like working all the time oh I see a ghost in this house I'm gonna clear it I see that over there in that park I'm gonna clear it and I was doing all this deep psychopomp work all the time psychopomp is a shamanic work of moving um energy from um from the earthly realm like to, to the light like doing doing deep work um in the spirit realm to help people who are stuck so i was working all the time which was completely unnecessary and yes i helped people but i was burning myself out yes i helped spirits but i was burning myself out then i um okay but i want to tell you about this one time where i had this like insane initiation so again the veil is very thin for me still is and I was visiting my friend in North Carolina and she had just had a baby and I was staying across the street I think this is even before I met my husband it's a while ago I was staying across the street she like her neighbors were gone so I stayed across the street and they were um on the other side and it was like winter ish um it's like it was winter ish and um, it was like November. I, I stayed at that house and all for three days, I was visited by spirit after spirit after spirit. I mean, I can still see the visuals in my head. There was someone in a wheelchair. There was all of this stuff. And then I found out that the person across the street or like the neighbor across the way had killed it murdered his wife. I mean, like the energy was so bad there. And I was like, I felt like I was going crazy and I was doing work and they just kept coming because with him murdering his wife, the um, energies of the land were just wild and it was open and it was man not managed. And I thought I was going crazy, but here's the thing. I wasn't, I wasn't going crazy, but I could see how someone could go crazy because I was literally seeing them like they were right there. Um, and even my friend was like, I was really worried about you, but I was having a shamanic initiation. It was a deep initiation into the spirit world. And what I did after that is I cleaned up my act because I had a little bit of ego. If I was on, if I'm honest about it, I'm like, yeah, I'm really psychic. I can see anything. And my teacher really loved me because I was an easy student and I was disciplined and I would show up and, and I was a model for the work because I know how to tap in and it just comes very naturally for me. And I had a lot of ego and in that ego, every time I'd see a spirit, I was like, I'm special. I can see spirits. I'm special. I can see spirits. I'm not special. I mean, yeah, I'm special. You're special. It's, it's, it's something that is just part of my being. It doesn't make me better than or anything like that. It made me sloppy. Being in that mindset that I was special uh, made me sloppy. So once I got my ego in check and went through that initiation, I started to truly organize with my teacher. My teacher had been teaching me for a few months how to do this, but I got real and I got disciplined and I got connected. Um, so what I'm noticing, and now it's on my terms. If I see a spirit, 
hey, I don't, I don't need to, I don't feel this need, this codependency to clean it, clear it and work myself. No. And if I don't want energy in my house or I don't want energy around me, I don't invite it. And if it comes, I manage it and clear it. So what I'm seeing is a lot of people are having psychic initiations and they're like, I'm seeing this or there's a psychic or there's an interference and often it comes as interference because if you're not organized and you're not managing your energy properly and you're an open channel and you, or you're beginning to at least open your channel, they think it's a freaking party. They're like her, him, open, and sometimes they can get a little like intense and they'll attack and they'll um, mess with you. You don't want this. Trust me. If this is happening to you or you're feeling this way or you're having some sort of, I'm going to grab my dog, deep initiation and you're noticing more psychic and spiritual activity than before, get some support calm down. I promise you, you're just having a psychic initiation. You're just having a psychic initiation. And I remember telling, I, I've told this story before when I first went to my teacher and I showed her my channelings. I'm like, am I crazy? She's like, no, you're just a disorganized psychic. It was like, thank you. Thank you. So if you are having psychic openings and it's becoming, feeling like too much, please don't collapse. Just know or get scared that you are right where you're supposed to be and you may, you just need some training. You need some training and you need someone to support you in seeing it, what to do and guide yourself through it. That's it. That is it. Um, so you're right where you're supposed to be. And if you are having psychic experiences, congratulations. We need you, but we also need you to be organized and empowered and in your warriorship. So we can navigate all of this garbage, this psychic debris out there as light workers. So congratulations. I have a feeling you might be getting some activity or be coming through your dreams or, and if this doesn't land with you and you're like, no, that's not happening to me. Open up. It might, you know what? I'm not telling you to open up to spirit like in that way. But know that if you're watching a video like this, you're in more in tune than you realize, really. If you're in the conversation of like, that doesn't happen to me, you're more in tune than you realize. And maybe you're on the other side of the spectrum where you're more shut down, right? And just blocked. And it doesn't mean that anything, it just means it's time to open, but open in an organized way so that you can be of service to yourself and to your family because we're very psychic telepathic beings, humans. And this part of our brain is starting to open more and more and more. So congratulations. And we're going to work through this bullshit matrix. I love that word, by the way programming that we have been stewed in and steeped in and messed with for thousands of years. It's literally going to start crumbling away. Just you wait. There's a lot of action coming, I think. I don't know, in a good way. And in a way that we're going to be able to start blowing away some of the paradigms and belief systems that are um, in our consciousness that don't serve us anymore. All right. If, I would love to hear from you if you are having a psychic opening or you're like, oh my God, Beth, I want a psychic opening. Um, send me an email and let's talk about it. And my name is Beth Osmer and I will see you on the next